as I love these shoes. I haven't quite worn them in yet to the point that they don't give me blisters. Welcome to New York. It's been waiting for you. Welcome to New York. Welcome oh. to New York. Do you like your belly like moves? Like hunger wise? Yeah. Yeah, I do. It's so <gasps> scary every time I feel it. It's like, whoa. Wow. Is that right? What's in there? Uh, definitely not a baby in there. How sexy is this? <laughs> how excited are you to be in New I'm York? I'm so happy to be here. We keep turning to each other and we're like, can you believe we're in New York? It's just such a place that's in movies. Yeah, like so iconic. So iconic. We got here yesterday afternoon. We checked into our hotel, which we're staying in the Nomo Soho, and I love it. Love it. The staff were so, so nice. So nice. After we just kind of like went for a bit of a walk, we got some food, we went to Target. <laughs> And we bought so many oh. snacks and we literally ate them all. <laughs> no. No. Wait, I can't. Yeah. It's so pale next to you. Uh, it's because my foundation color is like three shades too dark for there. me now. I blended it. I know. Beast Girls <laughs> take New York. <laughs> Beast Girls. We're going to go out for some breakfast. We're going to go to Jack's by Frida. Excited for I'm some food. So hungry. I checked and it's 2 p.m. London time. Is it? So no wonder we're hungry. We went to sleep at like 9 p.m. last night because we were so tired because the time difference is five hours, right? Yeah. At like 6 p.m. we were so, so tired. Ended up going to sleep at 9 p.m. and then I woke up at 5.30 a.m. So I feel like we honestly needed the time difference because we were getting into such a bad habit of staying up till 1 a.m. and then waking up at like 10. So this has been a great reset of like actually getting us up. So I feel like you've got more day. So we're gonna go out for some breakfast and then I think we're just going to explore the Soho area today. That's where we're staying. We're staying in Soho. It's the best location even yesterday afternoon just walking around we're just in the middle of so many good stores and cafes i just forgot how oh, what's the word i'm looking for how like amazing everything in america is i just feel like everything is just done times 10 compared to how it is in australia so like every everything like we walked past so many pop-up things and i'm just like it's just so impressive everything maybe that's what everything is just so like grand and impressive we asked for some recommendations so we've got some recommendations of things like places to go cafes and restaurants to eat but yeah i'm very very excited for a full week in New York, living out my Sex and City Gossip Girl friends' dreams. Buzz Lightyear and Corella Deville. Corella Deville. New York. <laughs> I've got my new bag on. Oh, she's gorgeous. And my new shoes. Ready. <laughs> no, I actually cannot believe we're in New York. Hungry. The light is shining like an angel. I like these elevators. They're so big. Mirrors everywhere. They're so roomy. Let's roll for activities. It smells so good in this hotel. It does. I'm obsessed with it. Can I buy again? Look at the tree in the lobby. Oh, isn't it so magical? <laughs> Look at this. This is literally the entryway to the hotel. This feels like you're entering this like beautiful magical fairyland every single time you enter. It is so quiet. Like we are some of the only people on the streets. Compared to yesterday walking around is actually crazy. I suppose this is a Sunday morning. What's the time? 10 a.m. Sunday morning. I'm kind of hoping because we haven't booked for this restaurant or this cafe but I'm, ho I'm hoping because it's so quiet. I do remember last time I was here it doesn't really start to get busy until like 12-ish. So fingers crossed the leather table. We're looking at the Instagram, of course, and the visuals. I don't know, there's so many good options. The waffle looks so good, but also like eggs on toast is so classic, and I know I'll feel so full and good after that. I panic ordered and I got the waffle. This looks so good. Oh my gosh. So it's a rose water waffle topped with Lebanese yogurt, mixed berries, and honey syrup. Stop, that looks so good. Oh! It's like crunchy, but then like fluffy. We've just finished up the breakfast, it's like an hour later, and there's a huge line out. 10 a.m. the time. 10 a.m. the time. It's not even early. early. We're going to get our first token. <laughs> we shouldn't be this excited, but we're so excited. But we are. It's Gorgeous. Do these lead to the subway? Because like they blow up air. Marilyn Monroe moment. Ooh. My jeans and my thermals. <laughs> <laughs> You're so scandalous. Guys, I tried to put a caramel <laughs> with my coffee and he couldn't understand me. He's like, caramel syrup? He's like, what? She's like, caramel? He's like, what? She's like, caramel? Like, what? She's like, caramel. <laughs> and then he goes, oh, no, we don't have it. <laughs> 
Caramel. 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 No, I remember the last time I was in the States, I tried to ask for water. I think I said water. Like, I wasn't saying water. I was like, can I just get some water? And they were like, huh? <laughs> like, so many times. So I literally ended up just being like, can I get some water? And they were like, oh, water. <laughs> no, I can't do an accent to them. Like, I, I can't. I'm not an actress. I can't do it. But I kind of want to start trying to. Yeah, yeah I wuss out every time, though. Odds on. No. <laughs> I can't do it. You can. I'm already nervous or drinking. Why are we so excited about this right now? <laughs> we were saying before, I feel like we're fangirls of anything here because we grew up watching YouTube. American YouTubers. So everything here is like, oh my gosh, like they did that. Cookie butter cold brew? No. Iced cookie, iced coffee. Oh, Spiced cookie? I feel like I need to try a pumpkin latte once and I feel like it has to be today. Today is the day. Today is the day. Okay, so what do I even say? What are the sizes? Are you going to just can't, can't. <laughs> can't wait to listen to this. So, like leave the room actually. I've made a mistake. Panic ordered and I've got whipped cream and everything. Look how big this is. I love the car. It's got little bottles on it. Okay, I can't have any of the cream or I'll shit myself. <laughs> no. It's so sweet. There's so much going on. <laughs> I had a Miss Coffee. I can taste the pumpkin. Really? Mm. Oh, it's literally so good. Mm. Yeah. I love it. You like try this. It's good. It's delicious. There's so much going on. Yeah. Yeah. The pumpkin is such a strange experience. This is also your first pumpkin ever. Yeah. I think I'd hate it without the oil. This that is beautiful. Nine Australian dollars. Oh, my that's worth nine dollars. Oh yeah, that is huge. Oh, so like that's fitting in your cup holder. We've come into the pleasing store. It's literally on the street of our hotel. My toxic trait is being like, that's what Harry uses. It's not. <laughs> You need it, actually. Sorry. I think the process is we're on the street. I can come back. And yeah, and I'll like most likely be coming back. Yeah. This is just like perusing. Yeah. And then we can come back. We can think about it. Yeah. There's a tote that I want. Yeah. Beautiful in here. The staff is really so nice. It's been a very successful shopping day. This feels good. <laughs> had a big old day of shopping. <laughs> Whoopsie. We've done some damage. Georgia's got more bags than that. She just put them all into one. <laughs> Whoa, you can read the subway. That's crazy. That's crazy. We're feeling pretty tired because it's, what would the time be in London right now? 10.30. 10.30. Okay, so I suppose it's not even that bad. We just feel quite tired. Like we've been up. Yeah, since 5.30. We're going to head back to the hotel, drop all of this off. Then we're not sure. We kind of want to sit down and plan out everything we want to do in the week that we're here. Because we just want to make sure we're being time efficient. Shows booked. Get shows booked. Get some restaurants booked. And then we're unsure if we're going to do Uber Eats, room service, vibe, or go out. We'll see. We'll see what we feel. We'll see. Only time will do. <laughs> Only time will do. I'm feeling so <laughs> You're glowing. I think it's New York. <laughs> <laughs> it's the New York hair. We've just been saying all day, like whenever we walk back out on the street, we're like, how are we in New York? It's not real. It's not real. Guys, I'm in a shirt and jeans. Right. Yeah, and it's I'm not cold. Also not cold. I'm in my coat, classic. <laughs> but I'm overly hot. So much warmer here. Like you don't really need thermals, I wouldn't say. No, I took mine off in the chain. Yeah. You wouldn't need thermals, you don't need gloves. It's yeah. a nice Nice, it's a nice winter. winter. I agree. So you probably won't be wearing the old coat out tomorrow. Oh my gosh, my arm's getting sore. I've just got back to the hotel room now. Both our key cards aren't working to open the door, and we're definitely in the right room. We were like, have we literally gone to the wrong floor or something? But we definitely haven't. So we've just gone down to reception to see what's going on. I'm here guiding the shopping. We both had such successful days. I feel like it's always the best when you're shopping with a friend and you're both having such successful shopping days. And you're both just finding so much that you love. Also, I made my bag crossbody bag rather than just like a little shoulder bag and it's been great. Get you a bag that can do both. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm so confused as to why this door went open. I also very much need to pee. I told Georgia she couldn't make me laugh because if she did, I would pee my pants. That's how close I am. Anyway, just thought I'd pick out my camera because I'm standing here waiting. I hear an elevator. 
<laughs> what did they say? <laughs> like nothing just gave us your feet. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? Like is something blocking it? <laughs> See you soon. For our next manager. We made it. I hate <laughs> when problems are solved and you don't know why. Yeah, because if it happens again, what do you do? Someone came up and they couldn't get it to work, so then they called the manager and then the manager came up and put it in and it just worked. Of course. Of course. Of course. We're just silly little girls. <laughs> <laughs> we can't work a door. Uh, like security guard not getting it to work either, maybe two of them. Yeah. So. Fresh towels. Oh, there's something about a fresh towel every day that just is such a luxury, isn't it? You scrunch your toilet paper, huh? Yeah. Do you? No. You fold. You're like such a scruncher though. Like, yeah. It doesn't surprise me at all. No, I'm such a scruncher. And like leaving a folder isn't surprising. <laughs> so true, that makes so much sense for the both of us. It says so much about you. It really does. Comment below. <laughs> Are you a scruncher or a folder? I'd love to know. I wonder what's the most common. What I feel like it would be a scruncher. Do you reckon? But you have to be like a certain level of clean freak to be a folder. My thing is, is when you fold, you're getting closer to your bum. Like scrunching is like, your hand isn't getting as close. Fold the same amount that you scrunch. Yeah, but the scrunch is like bigger. Jeans. Oh. <laughs> I wish I could take thermals. <laughs> <laughs> My pee's a bit yellow. Mine is so yellow. Also, America, why does your toilets like fill up like that? It's so full. I don't like it. Stand up and you're like, ah! Show everyone your ballerina outfit. This is my ballerina outfit. That's beautiful. Underneath the jeans. Oh, we're so delusional, Neil. Oh. oh no. <laughs> Where's my phone? <laughs> They were. Well, gay. <laughs> I have decided. Marnie from the US of A. Good morning, New York. <laughs> we're both wearing basically completely new outfits. So uh, true. Kind of. Tell us where everything's from. Jacket is cut none. I got it yesterday. I love it. This top is from Aritzia. My, my George and Joseph jeans as usual. My and your hat. Oh my god, my hat's also from Cotton On. It says, yours truly on it. And everything from pants are from Cotton On. They're actually, I flipped them. The ones that fold down, kind of like a low waisted vibe. With the cute thermal. With the thermal out the top. I know it's really cute, but I don't want to be cold. Although, we checked the weather and it's 16 degrees today. Tomorrow's 6. How does that happen overnight? What's going on? This new jumper or hoodie is from Brandy Melville. I've wanted this color for so long and it's just like impossible to find. And so when I saw it, I was like, oh, but you got new. Obsessed. You're coming stuff. home with me. And it says New York. Is it a bit on the nose for wearing a New York? You Rainbow. just like have to do it. I'm not from here. Does my hair look dumb? No, I like it, no, honey. I'm questioning myself really? now. Really? My stomach is not doing <laughs> Have I been to the toilet in like three days? No. I feel like you've been pretty good like this whole trip. Yeah, I have. Until been. now. No. What's Brazil going on? nuts. I stopped taking my Brazil nuts. Today, because it's rainy, we're gonna do things that are like more so indoors, like bookstores. <gasps> we're gonna go to our first Barnes and Noble. Stop. Ah! What else are we doing? Bookstore. Another bookstore. Park. Another park. Lunch. Lunch. Duncan. Duncan. No pumpkin. No pumpkin syrup today. I'm gonna get vanilla just so there's no language barrier. <laughs> I'm second guessing how I look too. No! On camera, turn it off. Don't look at me. That was better in real life, I think. We also wrote a list of all of the things, all that we want to see, eat, and do. Planned our day accordingly. Do you enjoy my little map? I, I love do. it so much. I literally feel like we were doing like intensive research this morning. Like, 
writing down all the recommendations, finding where they all are on the map and like what is smart to do today and like in the same direction. Yeah. And what's like better for a sunny day, what's yeah. better for this day. Oh, my dad definitely like had a jacket like this. Really? And I'm like, I just look like my father. Yeah. Cause I do. <laughs> and then I try to dress like a boy and I'm like, oh. Oh, why am I looking like my dad? It's a bit confronting. Anyway. today and I got myself another Dunkin' <laughs> and I don't think it's for me guys. <laughs> You're gonna hate yourself talking in this accent. What's wrong with it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I have to say is the word watch. <laughs> say again. <laughs> the other thing I have to say is the word <laughs> That's crazy. Where are we? Washington Square Park baby. Actually crazy how many movies and TV shows and everything are filmed from right this very spot. We're literally right next to it. Like I swear, there's a gossip girl scene right over here. It's <laughs> pretty crazy stuff. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> unnecessary. And then you walk up another level, more romance. Ooh. Anyway, we just come to the take a little seat, get a little drink, you can't see, but the sun is shining. What I'm hearing is the book gods have listened to us. Yes. Do you see that? That is blue skies. Also, everyone is just like sitting here reading their book. So cute, I love it. So quiet and relaxing in here. It's truly the best book I've ever been to. It's just like every book you could ever want, ever. These are the books I'm thinking purchasing. I did just put one back because I was like, Sophie, be realistic about what you're going to fit in your suitcase. Never by Jessa. The books feel different. What, they feel like soft. Yeah, they feel, they kind of feel like indie published, but all of them. And then also Love and Gelato. The feeling of this book is so beautiful. Great. Yes. That is huge. But I'm not sure because I'm like, do I, do I risk going overweight in my suitcase? I don't know. I'm also really in the lookout for fire thread because I've never been able to find it in Australia before, but I'm just having the best, best Time ever. I also from Strand, which is the bookstore we went into first, I bought Love and Other Words, which I've heard amazing things about. And look how cute this cover is. That's not from here, so I'm gonna put that away. Well, they think I'm stolen it. I can't believe it's not raining anymore. No, I'm sure. It was like pouring down on us before. Look how fast the clouds are moving. Like, that's how windy it is. <laughs> It is a whopping three degrees this morning. I was about to say, it actually doesn't feel too cold, but it always isn't when you're walking out of a warm hotel. I've got my mittens on and it's blue skies. We've planned out a lot of outdoor activities. First up, we're walking to Ruby's Cafe for breakfast. I'm very excited about it. I'm quite hungry. We wrote out a little map of everything we want to do today again. Friends Building, Rockefeller Center, Jelly Cat Store, Central Park, The Met, Times Square. Like we're, we're doing the checklist today. And then we're also seeing a musical tonight with Chad from High School Musical <laughs> I'm so excited! That's a rough plan, obviously I'll bring you along for it all anyway, um, but that's a little preview. Only really we see someone famous tonight. Okay, actually I oh, I didn't tell them about my potential <laughs> viewing. I swear to god I saw Tom Holland yesterday. We were sitting eating lunch and I was like looking outside the window and I was like that guy looks so much like Tom Holland and his kind of face turned three quarters to me I was like I think that is Tom Holland. And then he walked inside a building, so I couldn't, I didn't have long enough to confirm or deny. Then we looked at the sign that was outside of the building that he walked into, and it was like for clothes for short men. 
<laughs> like it literally said short men on the sign. And we were like, Tom Holland? We were like, so it, so it checks out. <laughs> it makes sense. And so if anyone can confirm or deny if Tom Holland was in New York City the week we've been here. The thing is, if we were in Australia, I'd be like, it definitely wasn't him. But the fact that we're in New York City, we were right next to Fifth Avenue, like such a nice area. Surely it was him. I just feel like I can't believe you because I didn't see it. I know. We'll have to get a pretzel today. I'm thinking when we're walking through Central Park. There's so much to eat. I not know. Enough. Meals in a day. Not and enough it's tummy me really room. Upset. We keep adding more things that we want to eat. Wow, what a gorgeous day! Everyone's walking when the when there's a red. <laughs> Here we go. They don't make sounds like they do in Australia, so you've got to be on the lookout. <laughs> oh my Ooh, goodness! That wind is chilly. We didn't realize, but this place is an Australian cafe. <laughs> and the whole menu is very Australian. A little taste of home. This is a, what was it called? Honey cinnamon latte. I'm so excited to try. And then I've just gone Avalon toast with some eggs. I think this is what my stomach needs, actually. Bit of comfort. Bit of comfort. That was so good. We've made it to the Friends apartment. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get the perfect angle for you. There she is. Which apartment were they, like, up there? That's so cool. It's crazy to me that the cast was never actually really here. <laughs> like, in my mind, that is Monica's apartment up there. I wonder who actually lives there. Yeah. And what does it look like in the inside? Because in my mind, it looks like the show, but it's not. <laughs> like, maybe they, like, based it off it. Yeah, maybe they changed it. I'd also love to know how much it would be. Just say that you, like, live in the Friends building. Mm. It's actually so surreal to just look up and see it. In my mind, that's Central Park <laughs> out there. Like we were looking at that. That's so crazy. Wow. That's us. That's <laughs> us. Can I go down and get a shot of you from up here? Thank you for your collaboration. XOXO. Gasp girl. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Black screen. <laughs> oh, like we are in Gossip Girl right now. Wow. Alexa and Amelia. We just did it for the first time with everything. It's called NFL Illegal. Well, Soph laughed at me actually, and I, I did. did a really good job at keeping a straight face. That bird is scaring me. Just got my first Ralph's coffee. Well, it's actually a match up. It was $9 USD, so. It's so cute. We've made it to the Rockefeller Center. <laughs> and the tree is so magical. Also, it's absolute chaos. We also just <laughs> We also just saw a proposal happen and the whole rink got cleared and it was just the two people on the rink. They have an iconic song that an we can't love song. Yeah, an iconic love song playing. And then he got down on one knee and everyone started cheering. We were saying how it would be our worst nightmare. All of these people were just cheering and they were in the center. And then they did a big skate around. <laughs> it was crazy. Like, I've never seen a proposal happen before. Wow, like this is really just the most impressive tree I've ever seen in my entire life. But it is absolute chaos and we are so overstimulated. There's so much going on. Isn't that crazy? Wow, wow, that is actually yeah, insane. Look at that tree. I've seen this photo, but I'm it's right in front of my eyes. <laughs> oh my god. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I can't believe we're here. No, no, me. Wow. I feel like it's one of those things that like looks magical far away too. Yeah. And you can still tell how huge it is. Yeah. And then behind us we've got Sax. On fit, Brina and Blair, where are you? How are you doing over there? I'm taking some deep breaths, <laughs> that's for sure. It is so busy, like, and it's at 3 p.m. on a Tuesday. On a Tuesday, like, obviously it's it's tourist season, but it is we are part crazy. Of the we are, we are contributing. Stop ringing the bell. <laughs> George is not liking the bell. It doesn't even look too busy behind me, but I tell you, it is. <laughs> we are about to literally walk into Times Square. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's so close. <laughs> Chad is going to be right there. Don't. Look at him. If he's right there, we can practically reach out and touch him. So intimate. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this this morning, but we've come to watch Little Shop of Horrors 
purely because Chad from High School Musical is in it. I really hope he hasn't chosen tonight to take off. <laughs> Can you imagine? We're like, where's Chad? Yeah. I'm so close. I'm so shocked. I can't believe it. I was like, yeah, yeah, five rows back. Like, I wouldn't want to be right at the front. You'd probably get spit on you and stuff. <laughs> oh no, my camera's just started to flash that it's dying. Anyway, I um, love a little show. I love a little show. Wow, I'm yeah. so excited. <laughs> the fact that I've only had Billy for a couple of weeks and he feels like something that now I couldn't live without, it's kind of crazy. I'm doing a face mask. I feel like this has become a regular occurrence in my videos. The musical was so good. We met Chad Corbin Blue. We got a photo. I'll insert here. The fact that you can see the the pure happiness on our faces yeah it was weird but in the best way possible laughing out loud the whole time everyone was just so incredibly talented honestly loved it like i'm so glad we decided to then we caught the subway home we've really i mean i don't want to say is that the moon over there whoa why does it look so close it does. anyway yeah i think we've <laughs> what are you <laughs> laughing at She's just taking a photo of me. It's pretty she? cozy in there. Uh, look, I am. <laughs> the camera set up and everything. It's so scary with the face mask on. Always. <laughs> Did you give the show out of 10? Honestly, like 10 out of 10. It was so good. Right? I give it 10 out of 10 too. I can't believe we met Chad. <laughs> I'll be looking at that photo for years, actually. No. I've like never really met someone like famous. I've never met someone famous like that. Like I've seen a couple of celebrities but I've never like gotten a photo with them. Now when people are like who's the most famous person yeah. you met? Chad from High School Musical. And the way he just like finished saying hi to everyone and then just like walked. Put his satchel over his shoulder and like walked off. Walked home. off. Like where are you going? Where are you going? I'd love to know. Also the fact that I'll never be able to watch High School Musical ever again without being like I quite literally bumped into him. <laughs> <laughs> There was no room for me to move into the selfie. So I just had to push my way through and then I just pushed so into him. <laughs> Honestly, like, thank you. You're welcome. And I'm so glad we did that. Little shop of horrors. Oh, oh, oh. We caught the subway home. I think we've potentially mastered it. Yeah. At least we're not scared of it anymore. Like, we were just walking everywhere because we were, like, too scared of doing it wrong. Um, It's, like, midnight. Tomorrow's our last day in New York, which is crazy. Crazy. Feels like we've been gone for so long. And I think because I moved house under a week before we left, I feel like I'm going back to this life that I don't like I've never lived before, which is kind of crazy. It's very it's very exciting. And then it's Christmas and then it's that weird week of between Christmas and New Year's and then it's just the new year. Then we're in 2024. I don't understand that. 2014 was 10 years ago. Well, in three years time, I'll have been out of school for 10 years. Oh, no, because in my head I've still been I've been out of school for three years. Anyway, I don't know why this chat has gone that way. That's it from me for tonight. And this day could not have been better weather if we tried. If it tried. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Like, there's actually not a cloud in the sky. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is the type of place where you're in it and you, like Central Station yesterday. Yeah, same feeling. You're like walking around like I am in a movie right now. Like it's just so, so surreal to be walking around. It's also huge. I knew it was big, but I didn't know it was this big. I'd love to know how many kilometers. Maybe we should Google that. Yeah, like we haven't even like touched the surface. 
happy with it. No. As you saw, we went and got bagels from Liberty Bagels this morning. And then, because it's quite close to Central Park, so then we just walked to Central Park and ate them in Central Park, which is the most New York thing ever. And now, I've just been walking around. We just found the Polaroid, the vintage Polaroid cameraman. And so we got a couple of Polaroids, and they're so cool. Now, we're walking to Ralph's to get a coffee, because there's a Ralph's kind of close to here. We're gonna get a coffee and then come back into the park, walk along the park until we get to the Met. And then we're gonna have our Gossip Girl moment, of course. We need to. I tell you what, it is. <laughs> Just like steering the wheel with his hand on the horn. It's also very chilly today, but the sun is helping. I won't I lie. Say, I feel okay until we sit down and stop moving. Yeah, it was sitting down and eating really like did a study. I was frozen, I couldn't feel my hands. But I've got my, <laughs> got my big ass mittens on. These were the best $20, oh. Oh, best $20 I ever did spend, even though they have been getting my makeup on them, because whenever I try and get the hair out of my face, it just shits makeup on them. But I really want an iced coffee, but it's, I, know, I can't, there's no, there's no chance. Like the first few warm days here, when we were drinking ice last days, like ruined me. Oh my gosh, this dog has a little coat on. Stop, you can't even see it. It had a little fur coat on. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna go get coffee and then continue our walk through Central Park. I got ice. You got ice? I'm so jealous. You, you panicked and you just went ice? No, I don't think you regret it. I might. Can't hurt. Can't hurt. Might hurt. This Ralph's is inside of Ralph Lauren. Maybe it would be the fanciest coffee shop I've ever been to. So bougie. So bougie. Got a latte with honey on oat milk with honey. I, I really enjoyed my honey yesterday, but look at the surroundings. Oh, <laughs> there's one. Did you order a Sophie or? Sophie, what did you say? <laughs> The outside of the Ralph store. Like, you're kidding me. We made it to the Mad Stacks. <laughs> Actually, living our Gossip Girl dream. Come sit next to me, Serena. Or Blair. I don't know who you are. The Blair to my Blair. <laughs> this, this is crazy. crazy. We were just saying how wouldn't it have been wild to walk past while they were filming Gossip yeah. Girl? Seeing Leighton and Blake sitting on the steps. Oh my gosh. Wait, I, mean, I want to stand up and film you. Oh my god. Crazy. This is crazy. I'm just gonna look down at this one. Yeah. The last time I was here, Maddie and I tried to come to the Met. Literally did the same thing we just did then. We were walking through Central Park and we got to the Met. And we were like, why is there this huge, huge crowd? It turns out the Met Gala was on. We made it to the Met. And uh, we're not really sure, but something's happening here. Can't get through. Oh. Wait, is that happening? <laughs> so, last time I was here, I never got to like sit on the steps. I just can't believe it. I feel like I'm in the back of so many people's photos just yeah, walking. It's a bit <laughs> We're all here for the same reason. Oh, yeah. I get it. Isn't it funny that we all can, can we bond all over the fact? In common? We yeah. do. Who's your guys' what favorite character? <laughs> team are you? Blair. What team are you? Blair. Imagine if I said Vanessa. Vanessa! <laughs> wow. You vlogging, it's gonna be in the background of so many people's photos. <laughs> I've got secondhand embarrassment from us. <laughs> yeah. You just gotta rock it. So this coffee is potentially the best coffee I've had this entire trip. Oh, Honey's kind of a game changer. Now I think I want to start making this my drink at home. This yeah. kind of tastes like Australian coffee. Yeah. Like a really earthy. Real is the best way yeah. to get it. Yeah. It's so good. And the cup is actually the cutest. I don't know how you're do drinking ice. Are you struggling? I actually got really good. Oh, I'm, I'm really so okay. happy to hear that. <laughs> Sleeve is making it not Yeah. Oh, my sleeve's broken. You said it's so Aussie. Then. My, My sleeve's, sleeve's broken. broken. A group of girls our age just looked at me and I've never felt more judged. Hope you know that I'm doing it for you. <clears throat> no, like I feel like I'm a gossip girl. The best way to describe New York is literally just that you feel like a movie. Yeah. You're in a movie 24 7. It really does. Like, everywhere you turn, yeah. you feel like you're in a movie. Okay, I'm gonna put my camera away. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I'm so proud of us for tackling the subway, but like we have. Yeah, it's pretty scary. We just met some girls on the Met steps. They were so nice. Like we got up and then they sat on the spot that we were sitting and they were like, I feel like we need to have a like, conversation on the Met steps. They looked so good, so I offered to take a photo of them because one of them was also blonde and one of them was brunette. I was like, you guys literally need a Serena and Blair moment. And they were so, 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 so nice. It was such like a, like a girlhood experience. Moment. Yeah. Because then we started chatting a bit afterwards. Where are you from? And then we're, you know, 
and one of them is from Scotland but she grew up in Australia. Who would have thought? The people you meet. We are now, <laughs> the way you just popped up. We are now on the lookout for some jelly cats because we have waited our whole trip to get jelly cats in New York and we went to the- Your safety is important to us. Yeah, we went to like a huge store today that was supposed to be full of jelly cats and they didn't have any of the ones that we were after. Train to Brooklyn Bridge City Hall. We've managed to locate some jelly cats but I can't decide. <laughs> Stop, they're so cute. The egg's taking me by surprise. <laughs> I love him. No, that scared me too. The strawberry is so cute. And then this is like New York pretzel. Like this is symbolic. I really just don't know. What are you thinking? I might get the egg. Do we get? That's the huge sun. Oh. There's a large. Bro, huge. Oh, I also really enjoyed the popcorn. Here's my thing. Where are these all going? You do love your popcorn. I love it. Oh, aren't you about to get a book in that little nook? Yeah. Oh, my dad. What is this guy? Out of everyone's legs, the egg's my favorite. The egg. Face wise, the egg. Pretzel and you. Yeah. Why are their legs so cute? I'm so sad there's none that. Rachel I know. I've decided on these little guys. <laughs> They're so cute together. Walk away, walk away, yeah. Do you think one of my best personality traits is that I'm funny? Half the time you're just laughing at me, <laughs> not with me. Look, the truth is out. Gary, you're not wrong. Hey, you're meant to disagree with you me. You are funny to look at. <laughs> I'm kidding. You just, you do things very funnily. Your mannerisms are quite funny to me. Hey guys, welcome back. Right? Here's my haul. Imagine if this was a dedicated video. Everybody's trying to get in my head. No, that's bad on it. I'm so sorry, it's just so good. I'm not gonna lie, we have been talking in exclusively American accent. I don't even know what, it's like a southern accent we've been speaking in. I'm not even joking. When I'm having thoughts, I'm thinking in a southern accent and so it's, it actually sounds wrong for me to be speaking in an australian accent right now i'm like reading my book at night before bed like <laughs> reading in the accent like it doesn't stop it's just so fun and it makes everything less stressful it does like when you're like oh my gosh are we gonna be able to do this are we gonna be able to get to this airport get to this if we're like i don't even know what's going on right now baby girl <laughs> it just makes everything funny we've got the scream scene in high school musical on in the background because of course we had to watch high school music it's kind of giving like oh. <laughs> good morning oh oh he's veins in his no. arms. He, third movie, peak Zac Efron time. Look at this. My hand. I wonder if he knows he was so many girls sexually. I think he must have to. Um, my own dream. So bad I'm gonna. We have been very much only watching Chad. Oh, like we met him? We met him. I bumped into him. He's just there. Not right now. We have started the process of packing our suitcases. Uh, I realized I never gave you a bit of a shopping haul. I'm not sure if this is something you care about, but I thought I'd show you anyway. And if not, you can skip it. <laughs> the way you're just watching. <laughs> no, it's like, yeah, it's mesmerizing. So I thought I'd give you a haul of a collective haul of everything I bought in this week. Um, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Firstly, we found some jelly cats. You saw actually in the store. This <laughs> strawberry, I love. <laughs> I love the legs. The legs are actually the best thing I've ever seen. A pretzel. It's like symbolizing New York City because it's a pretzel. I love him. His name is Freddy. I might as well like kind of unpack all of these shopping bags as I go so then I can pack them into my suitcases. Next, we have Brandy Melville. I think I showed this the other day when I wore it. Kind of, <laughs> you, can, you can make noise. It's the perfect fit, slouchy. I love it a lot. Oh, I love this. This is just simple little singlet. It's like a light blue again, same color as the hoodie and it has white, little white like lace trimming. George actually said when we were in the store with white linen pants. You really saw me when you said that. Really? Yeah, you did. Wow. She's my fashion stylist. Um, I dress like a teenage boy, but I can tell you what to do. You do. It looks black, it, but it's like a navy. Same cut, but like a navy lace. Cause I just love little little tops like this with jeans or shorts or something. I love them. Also got this hat. I feel like Brandy Melville gives a lot of Jennifer Aniston in friends. And I feel like this top is very much that. I got these little shorts, mostly for like lounging around in the house. They're very short, but they're very comfortable. And they're just like light blue and white stripe. This lighting is probably the worst lighting you could ever see. Guess my thought. Um, man. 
Oh, silent. Oh. I then got this. How would you describe that? It's kind of like an off the shoulder -y knit, but like very see through. And I see, I've wanted something like this for a while because I thought day at the beach, then you're like popping out to get something for dinner or a little picnic or something like that. And you want to chuck something over your bikinis. There might be a bit of a breeze, but you don't want to like put a whole jumper on. This is really cute because you can see the bikini through it with some de denim shorts. I just really like it. I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it. So. I got that. Last but not least, I got, again, this is another very Jennifer Aniston or Rachel from Friends kind of piece, but just this like baseball tee. Navy, it looks black in this lighting, but it's like navy. Love it. That's another bag unpacked. Then Aritzia. I love Aritzia so much. Look at the holiday bags. I got this, kind of like a corsetti. I feel like it really looks so much better on. I think I did take a clip of it actually, but the fit of it was perfect. There was only one left on the shelf, so I thought I'd just try it on. It literally fits like a glove and it's beautiful. The cut is amazing and I love this color right now. And then the other thing from Maritzia was just this bodysuit. The cut of it is gorgeous, like so flattering and you don't have to wear a bra with it. Like it really just holds everything so beautiful and I thought I'd get a lot of wear out of this. We obviously had to go to a Sephora in the US. I got a, a little mini of my Anastasia. Oh, I literally just thought that was stock. Anastasia Lash Bride Volumizing Mascara, which is the mascara I use, but I thought it would be handy to have a little mini because it's quite a big tube and I love it a lot. So I got that. The Rare Beauty Blush in Lucky because it's like impossible to find Rare Beauty Blushes in Australia. And this one is so Barbie pink, but I think it's so fun doing that really like Barbie strawberry milk makeup if you will this is another shade that i've been after for a while so now i have happy and lucky also got for the first time ever i've never had a setting spray before but i got the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray i haven't actually used it yet so i'm very excited to see if it actually makes a difference this is something that i have wanted for so long and every single time i've gone to buy it i've been like no don't buy it blah, blah. anyway it was like by the counter and i just last minute like grabbed it and i'm very excited about it but it is the jizu gizu honey infused hair oil I'm sorry, you walked off and I grabbed it. Heard amazing things. Not only the packaging is like the cutest packaging ever. Whenever I see girls who have like the most healthy looking hair, they're always like, use this. Oh, travel size is so cute. That's the cutest little bottle I've ever seen. Right? I'm just going to keep it in there just for sake keeping. So that's what I picked up from Sephora. We went to Pleasing today and... <sighs> Darn. <gasps> Darn. Absolutely. Something devastating happened. The red crew neck that I showed you earlier this week that we went in and we were like okay we'll come back at the end of the week if I'm still thinking about it and get we find the perfect size both of us like have it on we're like yes this is such a good crew neck we walk over to purchase them and we put them both down and I hear George's lady go oh do you have an Amex card this is an Amex exclusive jumper and I heard that and I was like surely my guy just like doesn't know this. <laughs> the way I glitched and it took me maybe like seven to ten seconds mm. to be like oh, oh. just this color like yeah <laughs> Yeah, I was like, uh-huh. Then literally, Michael goes, oh, do you have an Amex? I'm like, no. And he's like, oh, you can't buy this. And I was like... And the way that you, me, and both of our cashiers were all just silent. He was like, yeah, just this color. All, every other product in the shop you could buy, <laughs> except for this red crew deck. Never mind about that. We'll just see ourselves out. We will. Thank you. Thank you. I love this. Like, this kind of makes up for... Uh, does it? I'm not sure. No. I also bought this tote because I just thought this would be the perfect, like, work... Like heading off to work at a cafe, or I don't know, like going to the gym. I love the color. It's like a brown and cream. But what would you, how would you describe this? Like a net? I don't know. I don't know, but I really like it. There's like a short strap and then a long strap. Last but not least, we have some books. I really had to restrain myself with books because I just, I know how unrealistic it is to bring home books with me in my suitcase, but I did, I did buy three. I got Never by Jessa. Very excited to read this. And I also got, because this seems to be kind of impossible to find in Australia. I just saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I've wanted this for so long. So I am going to pick it up. Buy a Thread by Lucy Score. And then I also got Love and Other Words, which is another book that I've heard really good things about. Oh my gosh, it comes with a bookmark. Those are the three books that I picked up. I'm very excited. Are they quite heavy? Yeah. Oh, I also got this today. Green cap and it says New York on it. That's the damage that I've done whilst being here. I'm now surrounded by a huge mess. I'm gonna just take everything out of my suitcase, reorganize, and then hopefully it'll fit. Let's hope so. This is what I'm about to start tackling. So let's go. <laughs> 